Prigozhin's mutiny, um, which was uh, the most direct assault on the Russian state in Vladimir Putin's 23 years in power. Um, I think in many ways it exposed some of the significant weaknesses in the system that Putin has built, uh, weaknesses that already had been laid bare uh, by the disastrous and deeply destructive war that Putin launched 18 months ago in Ukraine. What was remarkable to me though was now almost exactly a month ago, today, after Prigozhin launched that mutiny, was the way in which Putin felt compelled to do a deal with his former caterer. Um, and, um, and what was equally remarkable, if you look back at the 36 hours that preceded um, that deal, it began a month ago today in the morning, uh, Russian time, with a 30-minute video that Yevgeny Prigozhin put on Telegram, which is a channel that probably more than a third of the Russian population is active on. Uh, and that video was the most scathing indictment of Putin's rationale for war, of the conduct of the war, of the corruption at the core of Putin's regime that I've heard from a Russian or a non-Russian. The truth is there's a lot of disaffection in Russia, in the elite and outside it in Russia right now, and we're not wasting the opportunity as an intelligence service to try to take advantage of it. MI6 says they're also trying to recruit off this. Is there a friendly rivalry to get in yeah, there first? No, it's, yeah, no, I mean, it's, uh, yeah. I mean, it's aimed at the same objective right now too. Those, those weaknesses have been exposed by Prigozhin's mutiny, but I think even more deeply than that, they've been exposed by Putin's misjudgment since he launched this invasion as well. And I think there's a, there's a relationship between the battleground in Ukraine and what's going on inside Russia in the sense that if and when the Ukrainians make further advances on the battlefield, I think what that's gonna do is cause more and more Russians in the elite and outside the elite to pay attention to Prigozhin's critique of the war. Putin is someone who generally thinks that revenge is a dish best served cold. So he's gonna to try to settle the situation to the extent he can. But again, in my experience, Putin is the ultimate apostle of payback. So I would be surprised if Prigozhin escapes further retribution for this. So in that sense, the president's right. If I were Prigozhin, I wouldn't fire my food taster. Thank you.